Corvette Hub. First of all, thank you for watching. Today we're going to replace the oil line on the oil pressure gauge on this 1969 C3 Corvette. Also a big shout out to Norm out in Connecticut who turned me on to the process, the part numbers, and sent me that J3 fitting. Thank you Norm. Thanks for everything you do. With that, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, keep those cars on the road. Because we'll be working behind the center console, we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery. There are a lot of electrical wires back behind the oil pressure gauge, so we don't want to touch them or short them out or anything like that. So just for safety, go ahead and disconnect the battery. This is what comes from JAGS in the oil line kit. I will give you a pre-demonstration of how the oil line and oil fittings all connect together. Okay, this is what comes with the JAGS part number 41057. You get the oil line and four fittings. Now this is a not enough to connect the oil, uh, the new oil line to the back of the gauge. You'll actually need another fitting, which is a J3 fitting, which looks like this. It's a JIC number two by one eighth pipe thread. This is part number C5205X2. Now this fitting is in the kit and it connects to the J3 fitting. Which it goes just like this. This portion threads to the back of the gauge. This fitting that comes with the kit goes into the top of the engine on the back side of the intake, near the back side of the intake manifold. And then it goes just like this. Once it's connected to the engine, just like that and this end on the back side of the gauge so back side of gauge top of the engine now you will notice that I use Teflon tape on the threads to stop from any possible oil leaks. These are the two fittings that are removed. This portion here was on the top side of the engine and this fitting was on the back of the gauge. I would suggest you keep them. Okay, we're going to get started. We're going to go ahead and take the center gauge unit out. And that is simple by easily uh, taking out four screws, one, two, three, four, and an additional one, one up top here, so really a total of five. And that's so we can get to the back of the oil pressure gauge and replace the oil pressure line. The reason we want to do that is because there's an old plastic line on the back. And of course, we're gonna install this steel braided line, which pretty much uh, prevents all leaks much, much better much much better unit. This line already comes with a grommet right here and of course one line attaches here on the back of the gauge the other line attaches to uh, the engine. We'll go ahead and get started start removing them. It's right here. It's a little bit hard to get to. There we go. Now I'll go ahead and take off the little side panel here too. Just so I can look at everything and get at it easy. You don't necessarily need to take this off. But I do just so it makes it easy. Now what I do is I also put a towel or buffing uh, towels right here. And the reason I do that is because when I pull the center gauge dash back some, I don't want to scratch it up. So I set this up to kind of set it on this without, sometimes if you go, if you uh, mess with it too much, uh, you have to watch out that you don't break this right here. So this is a little bit tricky to get uh, to pull back. I'm going to put this tile here on the top 
just so I don't scratch up the dash. You see what I'm doing here? And just pull behind that, just like that, so that I can pull it out further. See that? There we go. Pull off that cannon plug. There we go. That got it. That's what it looks like. There we go. This is the old plastic oil pressure line that we will be removing. These old oil lines are famous for leaking oil on components behind the console and even on the radio just below the console. Go ahead and remove the line and we'll get ready to install the new components. Once the old oil line has been removed, you will now need to also remove the old oil line fitting so you can install the new fittings and the new oil line. In this view, you may have noticed that I removed a console dash light and disconnected the amp meter wires so I can get easy access to the oil lines. We're going to install the new J3 fitting. And this is a 7 16th socket. And it's going to make sure it's nice and snug. And now we're going to install the additional fitting that came with the with the kit. And this is the line that goes on the hose. And that's simply tightened with a 9 16 wrench. This is a perfect time to reinstall my dash light that I removed earlier and install the wires that I removed from my amp meter. Before you reinstall the center console, make sure the new oil line and fittings are nice and snug. Once that is done, go ahead and start to reinstall the center console. Start by reconnecting the air conditioned ducts. Once that is in place, then move on to reconnecting the wires to the windshield wiper motor. Gently push the center console into place as you reconnect the windshield wiper motor wires. I will admit it's not an easy task, but be patient. Once the console is in place, make sure that you have even space all around the console. 
do not install the five console screws yet. That will be one of the last things that you do. You first want to check to make sure you do not have any oil leaks behind the oil pressure gauge. I have already removed the old plastic oil line from the engine side. Now it's time to remove the old fitting and get ready to install the new fitting and new oil line. The old oil fitting could be removed with a 7 16 socket. You may have also noticed that I had to move the coil, the tack cable, and some wires to the side so that I can get at that fitting. Of course I'll need to reinstall those once I'm finished. We'll install this fitting which allows us to connect the oil line hose just like this. This comes with the kit and of course it takes a half inch socket uh, to install this. So all I did to run the oil line through the firewall where the old line was running and then it connected it to the fitting right here. And this is what it looks like now. Okay, let's go ahead and do an ops check, see if this oil pressure gauge is working. Looks like it's working perfect. Here we go. We'll go ahead and put our screws back in, two on each side and one in the center, a total of five screws. Make sure everything's even and secure. I hope this video helped you out and stop that pesky oil leak behind your oil pressure gauge. Till next time, keep those cars on the road.